hello guys welcome back to my channel so here is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can be able to have a high ponytail on short natural hair so for this tutorial i want my hair to be really curly at the ponytail so because of that i'm going to put my hair into a simple twist out braid and firstly i will start by moisturizing my hair and in this case, I'm using the Cantu hairdressing pomade. It has shea butter and it really locks in all the moisture because I like my hair to look shiny and healthy. I should also mention that most natural hair really shrinks out. So this braid is also going to help to straighten out my hair and it will actually make it longer than it may look when I have an afro. So I'm going to braid out all the sections while moisturizing each. And one of the key things is also to use hair which is a little bit damp because then it's going to be easy for you to comb out and it will also be easy for you to braid but at the same time it will give you a nice curl when you take out your braids the next day so now that i'm done with my braids i'm actually going to stay with this overnight and then tomorrow morning i'll take them out and then we shall start the tutorial on how to actually do the high ponytail. So today I'm taking out my braids and one of the things that you're going to notice when my braids are taken out is how curly my hair looks and it also looks really fresh and healthy because I moisturized it the day before. Also, to maintain the curliness of the twist out, it's also best that you go into the braid with your fingers. So kind of braiding it out just using your fingers alone will just make sure that you have a really good quality twist out. And that will also help with your high ponytail curl. So the hard to reach sections, use a comb, but where you can, make sure that you use your fingers. So once you finish braiding out all your hair, just comb the roots so that you can remove the lines that you use to separate your braids. So comb them out, but make sure that you don't comb too high up so that you remove all the curls from your hair. So I'm going to use a black hair tie. I like one which is quite long and kind of the size of my head. I don't like the really tight ones because they can also be painful when you're trying to stretch them out into the puff. So for this section, I push slowly and while I push upwards on my head, I like to also make sure that my hair is really fast and really, really well. So you can see me adjusting it. And I also like to make sure that my hair is really, really flat so that even when I use gel or a pink oil moisturizer, I do not have many flyaways left over as I am closing in on my hair. So to make sure that I do not have a lot of flyaways from my hair, first I start with a pink oil moisturizer. I think you can be able to get this from your local salon. So I use this to just kind of, you know, lay my hair really, really, really flat. And I just comb through all the sections like around my head. I do not put any in the puff because, you know, I don't want it to really drain and change my twist out so i only focus on the areas which are not in the puff and i make sure that i lay my hair down really really nicely with a toothbrush alternatively you can actually use a hair gel for this step i just prefer to start with the pink oil before i use the gel because i think it really makes my hair look really really nice but just make sure that you go through your hair with a toothbrush or any brush of your choice and lay it down really really flat before you can actually proceed and put a scarf over your head. So how long you keep the scarf on your head is actually based on preference and based on how easy it is for your hair to lay. For instance, mine only takes around 10 minutes and then I can be able to take out my scarf and my hair will be laid really, really nicely, but take as much time as you need because you want your hair to be as neat as possible. So as you can see, the pink oil moisturizer actually really holds my hair really, really nicely. So now going into the puff, if you have short natural hair, you may notice that when you hold your hair into a puff, it has a really weird length. 
So what I do for this is I actually hold the tips of my hair together and I'll give them an easy hold inside my puff. So it's not making them too tight. You just have to make it loose a little bit so that it makes you look like you have more volume at your puff area. But just also make sure that it's really, really organized. So fasten the bobby pin in a way that your hair is just going to look really pretty and organized. So you can continue doing the same for the rest of the puff and make sure that you roll your tips into the puff and then fasten them properly with a bobby pin and then you will come out with a really nice organized puff and the color at the end actually adds a little bit of character to your hair and looks really really nice. So as soon as you're done organizing your hair into the puff, you just have to make sure that your edges are really, really laid very well and that you don't have a lot of flyaways. So for extra hold, I like to go in with a little bit of gel and I just look at the tiny ends at the edges of my hair and then just really make sure that those are also really, really flat. You don't want your hair to look imperfect just because you have a little bit of flyaways at the edges. So get that extra hold. So if you are into laying your baby hairs, I think you can also go ahead and do that here. I just prefer not to do mine because I like my hair to be really, really simple because then I can take this hair to the office, but at the same time, I can also just, you know, have it for a nice casual look. So after you're done laying your edges and, you know, making sure you don't have a lot of flyaways, just make sure that your puff is looking really, really organized. So check for anything that is, you know, standing out. So that's a simple way for you to do a high ponytail on short natural hair. If you found value in this video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you never miss a video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.